show some respect. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good morning. So today I thought we would have a little fun. Back in Hollywood, one of my most successful dog lines isn't a model, but a dog artiste. He's known as Ziggy the Painting Pekingese. I wouldn't give up the day job. And in fact, Ziggy's artwork is displayed at art galleries around America, fetching as much as $2,000 per painting. Correction, give up the day job. It may not be modeling, but it could be a lucrative sideline. So, today I thought we would have a little art class, and who knows? Maybe your dog could be the next Ziggy, or Pablo Paul Paso. <laughs> I prefer Labrador Dolly myself. <laughs> a little bit of fun then for our Fab Five before the real competition continues later. Good girl. Oh, he's doing it. Well done. Here, not on the camera. Here. I noticed that Sparky likes to throw the paint against the canvas. What do you think he's saying? My guess would be, are we going for a walk soon? Sparky, the first one with his feet in the paint, I think he's a natural born artist. Go? You don't want to paint? No? Okay. Normally she's the first to get in the mud on this get dirty today, tridid style. <laughs> We've got a little bit on our paws. It's quite cool, I might leave it on there, it looks quite snazzy. I think it's brilliant how the art is so representative of the personality of each dog. Really brilliant. I think Simba might have some real talent here. He's doing well. I think he's going for like an ocean effect, come by with some sunshine, maybe a little bit of some sort of colourful plant over here and some trees in the corner. Real impressionist artist, isn't he? He likes to use lots of colours in uh, an unorthodox way. He likes to paint the outside and the inside. Oh, I see. Simba's going to use his tongue. Don't worry, all the paint is doggy friendly. I think Lucky has real potential at this. We usually go to doggy dance classes on a Friday, but we might start with doggy painting now, another day of the week, as an activity. Then there's doggy tennis on Thursdays, doggy needlework Tuesdays. Oh, there's not enough days in the week. Where'd you go? What'd you go? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, look at that. Yes, Scarlett's obviously doing well. She's even managed to do a little less there as well. Actually, I think the master did that masterstroke. Yes, Scarlett's totally surprised me. She's shown that she's not just a dog, she's a model, she's an artist. Just worried that she might get a bit big headed now. And we've named it Rage. I like it. I mean, I really love the mood. It's scary. I think she's trying to tell me something. What's that? Don't ever do me again? <laughs> yes, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> now that was fun, right? But whose doggy doodle does Addison think deserves a treat? <laughs> 